an airbag accelerates from rest to a final speed of more than 100 miles per hour over a distance of 0.3 meters. For conceptual thinking, let us assume that the final speed is 100 miles per hour. A. What is the acceleration? B. What is the time in seconds? Assume uniform acceleration. So you're going from 0 to 100 miles per hour over a distance of 0 0.3 meters. Question is, what is the acceleration? What is the time in seconds? Initial velocity is 0 meters per second. Final velocity is 100 miles per hour. It is actually more than 100 miles per hour, but for conceptual thinking, we are just assuming that the final speed is 100 miles per hour. Now, we have to convert that to meters per second. What is one mile equal to? One mile is equal to 1,609 meters. And what is one hour equal to? One hour is equal to 3,600 seconds. So V final is equal to 100 times 1,609 divided by 3,600, so many meters per second. So we have initial velocity, we have initial velocity, we have final velocity. We do not know the time. We do not know the acceleration. By definition, acceleration is equal to final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time. Acceleration is change of velocity divided by time. We do have change of velocity, but we don't know what time is. Displacement is equal to average velocity times time. What is average velocity? Final velocity plus initial velocity divided by 2 times time. Initial velocity is 0. So what do we get for time? Time is equal to 2 delta x over v final. So we get A is equal to V final divided by 2 delta X over V final. And that is the same as V final squared over 2 delta X. V final squared over 2 delta X. Are we given the final velocity? Yes. Are we given delta x? Yes. So we can find acceleration. We can find acceleration. So what is final velocity? It is 100 miles per hour. And to be very exact, we use 1609.344 meters. And one hour is equal to 3600 seconds. So convert from miles per hour, 100 miles per hour, two meters per second so hour and hour cancels out miles and miles cancel out so we get our answer in meters per second so we have the final velocity is equal to 44.704 meters per second so initial velocity zero final velocity 44.704 meters per second delta x Delta x is 0 0.3 meters. So we have delta x is equal to delta x is equal to v final square divided by 2a. Do not forget your initial speed is 0 meters per second. It is starting from rest. Your delta x is 0.3 meters. Your final velocity is 44.704 meters per second. So we have everything that we need. So we use this formula. Substitute 0 0.3. Substitute 4. Substitute 4. Final speed. Squared. Divided by 2a. So what is a? 44.704 squared. Divided by 
2 times 0 0.3, 3, 3,330.7460. The velocity squared is given by meter per second times meters per second. So that is velocity squared divided by 2 times displacement, and that is meters. So meter squared divided by second squared divided by meter, and that is meter per second squared. So our acceleration is 3,330.7460 meters per second squared. So we have initial velocity, zero. Final velocity, 44.704 meters per second. This was given, this was given. We are given the delta x, 0 0.3 meters. We found out the acceleration, and that acceleration is 3,330.7460. Now question is, what is time? So you say acceleration is final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time implies time is equal to final velocity minus initial velocity divided by acceleration. So you get time is equal to what is final velocity? 44.704 meters per second minus initial velocity 0 divided by what is acceleration? 3330 0.7460. That is equal to 0 0.01342 seconds. And that is as good as 13.42 milliseconds. 13.42 milliseconds. And this is George Matthew signing off. Good luck.